Hello, beautiful beings. I was whining to the ancients a few days ago about, where's all my fruit? Where's the fruit of all this labor I've been doing all these years? And they sent me, <laughs> yesterday sent me Neville Goodard. I listened to about four different intuitive tarot readers. They're such divine, clear open channels. And two of them recently have mentioned Neville Goodard. And then yesterday, one of those shorts came up and it was Neville and I touched it and uh, I swear that whining really, really has been effective for, for me over the years. I can't pull it out all the time, whining to God, but sometimes I just, I, but yeah, it's only when it's genuine they're saying. Yeah, and I felt so genuinely frust frustrated a few days ago because I feel like I've been in this, this kind of holding pattern, N like still knowing that being was the doing that I, I'm supposed to be doing to release all resistance around everything. <laughs> but it still felt like I wanted to be doing something. And so now Neville, just since yesterday, Neville mentioned... He has all these different techniques. Technique, techniques for what? For, for attain, attaining peace on earth, really, to, for, for attracting the highest vision of our life. And, I, and so he mentioned imagining. It's been so long since I imagined that I can't even, it's hard for me to even remember the word. It used to be fantasize. And uh, my second daughter and I were just talking about our imaginations a couple days ago in the car. And I was telling her how I, I've never had a good imagination. I did when I was little, but not for a really long time. And now I can't imagine at all. But then Neville, this angel, comes into my life yesterday and the, when he said that about imagining, I just felt such a low in myself because, because I knew he was sent to me it, to help me along this phase of my, my ascension. And I just felt so disappointed for a second, only a second. Because then he started describing how he wanted me to imagine. And, oh, that's already happening. That's not like from my mind. It's, it's these very clear visions I've been getting for a very, very long time that I know are real, that I don't even doubt. I never doubt. Sometimes that's why, why I've gotten sad over, over the years because I felt like it was, everything was going so slow. These, these knowings are so clear and I've been impatient at times. I don't feel very impa impatient anymore. But to, to realize just since yesterday that I can imagine. And then, right before I started this video, sitting here just reveling in that realization. I'm just remembering it like I did. Asking the ancients for assistance as normal, as usual. I use my brain as little as possible. I had only lost the ability to fantasize destructively. I was trying to run away from myself, but I was, I was just in my mind, just switching the horrible thoughts for fantasy thoughts, but it was all still in my mind. And that's what was taken from me after my remembering experience. What a gift. And I can still imagine now. I know because it's constructive and I feel like, oh my gosh, I just, just in the last few days, the last couple days, I've just felt such a tremendous release of resistance. I don't, it's not like I don't care about the subscribers on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. 175. That's absolutely amazing. But now I don't care. I've had a shift in myself. I see things so differently. It's only about it, my life, anything I do, the, the videos, whatever I do, um, holding song with people. 
is just, just about being a clear open channel for the divine to come through for, for others highest good. And if it's for other others, highest good, it's for my highest good too. I don't know if I've ever said it like that before, but that's true. That's not codependency either. Through this ascension process, all those things have been, been being shed at a cellular level. Life, life has been be, becoming uh, very effortless. And I'm not saying the last two or three days or whatever, you know, life has been smooth every day. No, not at all. I mean, I felt incredibly frustrated just three days ago, whining to the divine. Where's my fruit? And so now I, I, lis I was listening to this video from Neville Goodard yesterday, last night. I listened to a couple of them, sent him to Ocean right away. And he's talking about my fruit and how to get it. And, and that, that I don't need to get it, that I am the fruit. Oh, and I'm like, yes. Yeah, I know this. Yes. Thank you so much. And I don't know it in the way that I don't need him though. He's my mirror. He's, he's my doula right now. My being doula. He's helping me give birth to myself into my, my new life. And I'm, I'm fully seeing that, that my past thoughts create my my right now reality but the past is always right now it's always right now it's never not right now never no exceptions so the fact that I'm going to be doing these visualizations I like that word so much better than imagination or fantasy these visualizations with Neville just every word he's saying to me about, and I've been praying for acceleration, seeing acceleration in my life. I'm ready for it. Bring it on. I am ready. I am in full 100% receiving mode and I feel it. I'm not just saying it anymore. I feel that. And he talks about just, just faithfully devoting myself to to just stopping throughout the day and just closing my eyes and just feeling all the things that I'm seeing that I've been seeing over the years, all the new things that have been coming in and it's coming in. It's not me. It hasn't been me just, just trying to fantasize that still didn't work. It's just these thoughts that come in and I'm just like, wow, yes. Yeah. That's exactly what's coming my property, the beautiful people entering my life, the ability to, like with my handsome neighbor, I was calling him the lust lesson, but it has shifted since then, since then to where I'm not reacting to his unconscious behavior any, anymore effortlessly. I set loving boundaries for myself. If he wants to, if he comes over, he knocks on my door to come and get his dog and he's tuned up already. I set really firm loving boundaries while laughing and just feeling loving the whole time. And he may even be grumbling, but it doesn't bother me anymore. Those triggers have been removed. I didn't even realize they were still in there. The triggers when my dad would become incredibly unconscious after he had drank yeah, I didn't realize that I still had that in me. I mean, I knew I was still reacting, but I didn't realize that it could ever be completely gone. Now, if it ever comes up again. And so I'm real, I've been realizing the last several days that this, that the more I change, it seems like the more this person changes around me. He's not pushing against me. He's not um, you know, trying to get his way anymore. And, he, and I know that when, when he gets his ass home, he's going to be messaging me, but I, before he even gets home, I have already put it, I've either blocked him or I've put him on silent because now when I see the messages come up, if I'm watching something, um, it doesn't make my stomach hurt. It doesn't affect me at all. Isn't this amazing? Oh, so absolutely amazing. It may feel like frustration and feelings of discouragement, all of that are just negative at the time, 
but I notice that those feelings come just like in real childbirth. Those things come right before the baby, right before the aha, right before the miracle. Don't give up before the miracle happens. I'm living all of this now. All the cliches that I used to just read over and over and have all over all, all over my walls. There, people are like, oh yeah, cliches. I was the cliche queen when I was going to AA. I loved that stuff because the truth is very simple. It's very short like that. It was just all so life-giving. Nobody had any idea how much I was absorbing. <laughs> right? <laughs> I got a joy flood coming through <laughs> in AA. I was such a wreck. I was crying all the time, crying or just hysterically laughing, hardly ever in between. And people just didn't realize how grateful I was to be there. <laughs> how I was just like, you have no idea. Like this is actually saving my life. <laughs> But they just, a lot of people just really, like, basically my whole life, this is not a, a poor me thing at all. But, you know, I'm sure that a lot of you that are watching my, me right now, you're like, oh my god, I'm that sensitive too. <laughs> my whole life, people are just like, wow, she is so weird. <laughs> but now I even that laugh, right? It's like a, a maniacal weird laugh. Oh, there's a deer out here. They represent gentle healing. And Andrea taught me that. But I realize now that um, I'm not weird. Everybody else is weird. <laughs> that my weirdness uh, serves a purpose. And um, it's not weird to me anymore. And if it's totally fine, doesn't bother me, doesn't trigger me at all if I feel and, and see that somebody perceives me as weird. That's totally fine. I, I get it. <laughs> I used to label myself as weird and feel incredibly dysfunctional, uh, but I don't anymore. Yeah, they want me to say, you're a walking miracle. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's very true. I used to be the saddest person I knew, <laughs> and now I cry because I'm so happy. <laughs> I thought along the way that I was going to stop crying. <laughs> I know I say this all the time. I really thought that Oh yeah, I've reached this place of maturity. I thought it had everything to do with maturity. <laughs> but it has not, it has, they're saying it does have everything to do with maturity. Oh my gosh, that's so true. <laughs> Being, I just love the ancients so much. Being genuinely mature means uh, <laughs> accepting myself exactly like I am. <laughs> Self-acceptance. Yeah, and knowing that I'm a divine gift. And so are you. Everybody is. Doesn't matter what disgusting state you're in. <laughs> it doesn't matter how stuck you feel. Uh, you chose to come here and you have a purpose. So if you would like help <laughs> discovering what your purpose is, we can help uh, un unbury you. Unbury you from the rubble of conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> I will put uh, my favorite book in the description box. The Dragon Doesn't Live Here Anymore and Power Through Constructive Thinking in the description box. Maybe so, some other things too. Who knows? <laughs> so I'll song with Mama G at gmail.com. I will put that in the description box. We love you so much and we have so much faith in you.